Today we're taking a look at these NBA matches, Washington Wizards vs. Charlotte Hornets and San Antonio Spurs vs. Phoenix Suns, which are happening on Sunday, May 16, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, letting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out my Patreon in the link down below. My new Patreon is a way for me to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you. You can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours and hours of your time searching the internet for some fake betting predictions and losing your money because of it. Join High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advices instantly. Now I am going to start off by talking about Washington Wizards vs Charlotte Hornets match. Charlotte has won both matchups against Washington. They defeated the Wizards 119-97 on February 7th then won 114 to 104 on March 30th. In that game, Terry Rozier scored 27 points to lead the Hornets past Washington. Gordon Hayward added 26 points and 11 rebounds. Washington, who played without Bradley Beal, was led by Rui Hachimura with 30 points, while Russell Westbrook recorded a 22-point, 15 rebound, 15 assist triple-double. Washington who was swept by Atlanta last weekend, defeated Cleveland 120-105 on Friday night. That win clinched a play-in spot for the Wizards. Russell Westbrook scored 21 points and added 12 rebounds and 17 assists for his 183rd career triple-double. Davis Burtons added 17 points, while Rui Hachimura and Robin Lopez both scored 14 points. The Wizards played without Bradley Beal for the third straight game. His availability is questionable for Sunday. The Charlotte Hornets have been in a rut as they've lost five of their past six games and they will be hoping to avoid a fifth straight loss after last night's 118-109 overtime road loss to the Knicks. Miles Bridges led the team with 30 points on 12 of 21 shooting off the bench. Devonta Graham added 25 points and 8 assists off the bench while Jordan McDaniels chipped in with 15 points. 10 rebounds and 3 assists. As a team, the Hornets shot just 38% from the field and 13 of 49 from the three-point line as they rallied back from an 18-point deficit in regulation, only to go ice gold in overtime where they scored just 5 points. Lonzo Ball scored just 8 points on 4 of 15 shooting while PJ Washington scored just 4 points on 2 of 11 shooting. Bradley Beal is questionable for this one with a hamstring injury which is a shame as the Wizards still have plenty to play for in this one with the 8th seed up for grabs. My first betting advice for that game is to pick Washington minus 5. The Hornets are 19th in the league in effective shooting percentage, 53.5%, 25th in turnover percentage, 13.4%, 8th in offensive rebounding percentage, 23.5% and 24th in free throws per field goal attempt, 0 .180. Defensively, the Hornets are 25th in opponent's effective field goal percentage, 55.0%, 6th in opponent's turnover percentage, 13.3%, 28th in defensive rebounding percentage, 75.6%, and 3rd in opponent's free throws per field goal attempt, 0.163. The Washington Wizards have been in decent shape as they've won three of their past five games and they will be looking to stay hot after Friday's 120-105 home win over the Cavaliers. Russell Westbrook led the team with a triple-double of 21 points with 12 rebounds and 17 assists. Davis Burtons added 17 points while Rui Hachimura and Robin Lopez each scored 14 points. As a team, the Wizards shot 46% from the field and 7 of 25 from the three-point line as they led by just four points at halftime, before pushing the margin out to 19 points in the third quarter where they outscored the Cavaliers by 33-20. Russell Westbrook has been a triple-double machine this season and has just passed Oscar Robertson on the all-time list last week. 
he has averaged a 22.2 ppg 11.5 rpg 11.8 apg triple double this season bradley beal remains the wizards leading offensive threat averaging 31.4 ppg 4.7 rpg and 4.4 apg if Beal cannot go, look for Rui Hachimura to play beyond his average of 13.8 PPG and 5.5 RPG. Davis Burdens has averaged 11.5 PPG this season. The Hornets are 0-5 ATS in their last 5 road games, 23-10-1 ATS in their last 34 games against a team with a losing record and 2-5 ATS in their last 7 games overall. The Wizards are 5-1 ATS in their last 6 home games, 11-3-1 ATS in their last 15 games against a team with a losing record and 27-1 ATS in their last 28 games overall. My second betting advice for that game is to pick over. The Phoenix Suns have given themselves a chance to capture the top seed in the Western Conference with their play down the stretch. Now, all the Suns have to do is couple a win over San Antonio with a Utah loss to Sacramento. The Phoenix Suns have been in great shape as they've won 8 of their past 11 games overall and they will be hoping to cap off the regular season with a third straight win after routing the Spurs in a 140-103 road win last night. Devin Booker led the team with 27 points on 10 of 18 shooting, Michael Bridges added 18 points while Chris Paul chipped in with 16 points and 10 assists. As a team, the Suns shot a healthy 55% from the field and 15 of 33 from the three-point line as they dominated right from the start by holding the Spurs to just 17 points in the first quarter to open up an early double-digit lead, before exploding for 41 points in the third quarter to push the margin out to 42 points, Controlling the controllable is all Phoenix can do, and they have already decided not to rest their personnel for this game. Devin Booker leads the Suns with a 25.5 PPG, 4.2 RPG, and 4.3 APG average. Chris Paul has averaged 16.4 PPG and a team-high 8.9 APG while hitting 39.5% from beyond the arc. Michael Bridges has scored 13.5 PPG and 4.3 RPG while shooting 42.1% from beyond the arc, and DeAndre Ayton has averaged a double-double this season, 14.4 PPG, 10.5 RPG. The Suns are hoping to have Ayton back for this game. The Suns are fourth in effective field goal percentage, 56.3%, 5th in turnover percentage, 11.6%, 24th in offensive rebounding percentage, 20.8%, and 26th in free throws per field goal attempt, 0.178. Defensively, Phoenix has held its opponents to an effective field goal percentage of 53.4%, good enough for 12th in the league. The Suns are 16th in the league in defensive turnover percentage, 12.4%, 10th in the league in defensive rebounding percentage, 78.4%, and 14th in the league in opponents' free throw per field goal attempt, 0.194. The San Antonio Spurs have been in terrible form as they've lost 9 of their past 11 games overall and they will be hoping to arrest a 3-game slide after getting destroyed by the Suns last night. Keldon Johnson and Gorgi Jang each scored 18 points, Drew Eubanks scored 15 points with 11 rebounds while Devin Vassell chipped in with 14 points, 7 rebounds and 4 assists. As a team, the Spurs shot 44% from the field and just 4 of 26 from the three-point line, but they just never stood a chance in this one after scoring just 17 points in the first quarter to fall behind by 21 points at halftime. Patty Mills had a rough night as he scored just 8 points on 3 of 10 shooting while Lonnie Walker had one to forget as he finished scoreless on 0 of 9 shooting. My betting advice for that game is to pick Phoenix minus 9.5. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.